If your company sells a password manager, you can't cut corners on security. And this much was proven in December of 2022 when LastPass, a leading password management company, had a data leak. Seriously, they had only one job, which is why it's time to find an alternative. And that's certainly why our eyes are on Keeper in this review. In this video, we want to answer four questions. Is Keeper secure? Does Keeper have cool features? How much does Keeper cost? And is Keeper easy to use? We'll be rating answers to these questions using a scale of one to five tacos. Mainly because I'm hungry and possibly thinking about written off apps soon. So let's go and look at the first question. Is Keeper secure? Now you might be asking the question, how can I tell if Keeper is really secure? Ultimately, this comes back to its zero knowledge protocol, its support for multi-factor authentication and its end-to-end -end encryption. So let's break down each of these benefits in more detail. Zero knowledge password manager means that you are literally the only one who can access the information that you've stored in the password manager vault. Even Keeper's own employees can't even get into your vault. This means that even if Keeper were hacked, the hackers couldn't steal your information and use it to log into your accounts. Next, let's look at multi-factor authentication. Multi-factor authentication means potential hackers must verify their identity using your phone's authentication system. <laughs> this makes it nearly impossible for anyone to get into your Keeper vault, even if they know your master password. Now, part of this multi-factor authentication includes support for biometric verification. This means that you can log in using your fingerprint. Given that other people don't have your fingerprints, well, you can see how this is secure. Finally, Keeper's end-to-end -end encryption means that any communication is secure. It relies on the cold standard for authentication, which is, yes, AES-256. Now, those familiar with our VPN review content know that trusted VPNs like Nord and Surfshark use similar security measures. Well, how do we know Keeper is following through with all of this? Well, Keeper Security goes through multiple third-party audits to prove that their password manager does what they claim it does. Keeper is literally the most certified, tested, and audited password manager in the world. Keeper holds the longest standing SOC2 and ISO 27001 security certifications in the industry. Keeper is also compliant with the GDPR and CCPA data privacy laws and the PCI DSS credit card security standard too. Whew, how are those for acronyms? Keeper has also been certified by TrustArc for online privacy. So Keeper is solid when it comes to securing your data. It also helps that despite having been around for more than a decade, Keeper has never been hacked, ever. As you'll recall in our intro, even major players have been hacked. So this is indeed an amazing achievement. Well, we can easily give Keeper's password manager five out of five tacos for security. But let's go and take a look at some of the features that Keeper offers. The standard features it includes are those that you might expect from, well, any password manager. Keeper will help you create secure and strong passwords using an automatic password generator. You can create incredibly strong passwords with lowercase and uppercase letters, numbers, and symbols. As long as you are logged into Keeper, you can take those passwords and save them to your password vault. From there, you can use Keeper's autofill function to insert those passwords on any website or any app you visit automatically. Keeper spreads this access across multiple operating systems and browsers as well. It supports the latest Windows versions, including 7, 8, 10, and 11. It also operates the current version of Mac OS and several of the most popular Linux platforms like Fedora, Ubuntu, and Mint. Its mobile support is for iOS 13 or newer and Android 6 or newer. So even if you do have an older phone, you can use Keeper. You'll even find support for a wide variety of browsers, including Chrome, Edge, Safari, Firefox, Opera, Brave, and <gasps> Internet Explorer 11. Huh. Well, I guess Keeper wants to ensure they serve everyone. Anyway, Keeper has a few other features worth noting like support for record sharing, both with other Keeper users and people who don't have Keeper accounts. So say for example, you're going out of town and you need to give your house's security code to your pet sitter, but the pet sitter doesn't have a Keeper account. Ha <laughs> ha, no problem. 
Keeper can generate a one-time share link to send to them. Only they can open this link, and the link expires at a date and time that you choose. And finally, let's take a look at some of the cool features. Uh, the first of the cool features includes support for dark web monitoring. It's called BreachWatch, and it's available as an add-on feature at an extra cost. Now, BreachWatch, it scans your passwords against breached passwords on the dark web, alerting you to the potential threat so that you can change that password right away. Another incredible feature is emergency access support. While it is important not to share your Keeper data with everyone, emergency access lets you identify up to five individuals to access the account on your behalf in the event of an emergency. Now that way you won't lose access to everything if something mysteriously happens to you. But wait, there is more, uh, three more to be precise. Are you looking to bolster your education on security? Well, Keeper offers a special concierge service that educates you on online safety. So you can get one-on-one -on -one training from one of Keeper's cybersecurity experts. Pretty cool. You would need to pay an extra $99 per year for this service. Keeper also offers secure chat services, letting you securely communicate with other parties. It falls under the same encryption protocols, meaning that you can be sure that your message is safe. So there's no need to use alternative services like Telegram, for example. This service comes as a complementary addition to your existing plans. And finally, another cool feature Keeper offers is file storage. All Keeper customers can upload to five files under 100 megabytes at no extra charge. Need more room? For only an extra $9.99 per year, you can get up to 10 gigs of super secure file storage. While some other password managers offer similar services, Keeper is the only one that has secure messaging. So, for those who want security in almost all areas of their online life, Keeper is the solution for you. Now, Keeper gets a near perfect score because of its robust list of features, but the additional cost of BreachWatch keeps it at 4.5 out of 5 tacos. Now, what about our next section, pricing? After all, you might not have the money to pay for a password manager, right? But what if I told you that you could get Keeper for free? Yep. Keeper's free version is usable on one mobile device of your choosing. And this means that you can take it with you and securely store your passwords. You'll lose some key features, sure, like the autofill and multi-device support, but it's a killer deal for someone who just wants basic password storage on one device. If you want the premium version, Keeper lets you try it out for 30 days risk-free. So, if you want to see whether it's worth your money, hey, 30 days is worth more than enough time to test all of these available features. If you do decide to pay, well, how much does it cost? Well, you know what? Pretty reasonable. A personal plan bills you annually at $35 per year. Meanwhile, a family plan, which includes five private vaults and 10 gigs of storage, costs $75 annually. Now, the family plan lets you securely share data between members of your family, which is super convenient for families that share passwords for streaming services and whatnot. Keeper offers additional discounts for students, members of the military, and medical professionals. Students can get 50% off, letting them put that money towards essential things like uh, textbooks and, well, ramen. <laughs> Meanwhile, military personnel and medical professionals can take 30% off the cost. Keeper also offers solutions for organizations too. The business starter plan costs $2 per user per month for teams of 10 people. And this is great in cases where your team can share the same resources. Of course, if you want to control more details, like delegating who gets what controls, you can pay for the business plan at $3.75 per month per user. Keeper also offers enterprise solutions for bigger groups. Now, when looking at all these costs, this does put it on par with how much you pay for LastPass, which doesn't offer file storage. It also makes it cheaper than another top security provider, Dashlane, which doesn't offer secure messaging. Of course, if you want the best discount for Keeper, you know where to find it. Go downstairs below, click on our link in the description. CyberLab subscribers can get 30% off, which is an amazing deal, if you ask me. So ultimately, it gets a solid five out of five tacos on pricing. Although I'm going to eat half a taco this round uh, because I'm hungry after all these tacos. <coughs> this brings us to our last question. Is Keeper easy to use? Well, <laughs> I mean, just look at it. Keeper relies on a minimalist interface, focusing on the most important functions. On the browser, you'll find most of your features on the left-hand menu. 
you'll find easy access to your vault, stored data, a security audit, breach watch, and any deleted items from your file storage. The main display changes depending on what menu you click on. The upper right hand corner contains some of your lesser used features. These include password sharing, two factor authentication setup, and those general settings as well. All the browser extensions follow the same simple format. After you log in, you'll see the option to enable Keeperfull, the autofill feature, generate a password, create a new login, and access your data vault. You'll also find a link to account settings, leading you back to your dashboard. Anytime you access a website where you've saved a password, Keeper will pop up. By clicking the website username, it autofills the details for you. But if you dislike that pop up, well, hey, you can disable autofill anytime you want. You can also say similar things about the two apps for iOS and Android. They're straightforward and provide solid customization. So for ease of use, it gets another solid five out of five. Ultimately, Keeper has received almost perfect scores across the board. With that being said, Keeper doesn't offer a VPN like its competitor Dashlane or offer travel mode like 1Password, but even if we must admit, we're nitpicking here. I mean, in our humble opinion, the Keeper password manager could easily dethrone LastPass. Keeper is cheaper, rhymes too, has more features, but has never been breached. Ultimately, the best password manager is Look, the one that works for you. So try it out for 30 days and let us know your thoughts in the comments. You can also like and subscribe to our channel for more videos to help you stay secure online. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.